All right, let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into this. And as far as Uri Slavkovsky, could he win the Calder Trophy, the Rookie of the Year for 2022-23? Why not? He's the first overall pick for the Montreal Canadiens. Here's what I'll say about that, though. I do think for Uri, it's going to be very, very difficult. Maybe the toughest Calder Trophy race in years, man. I think it's unlikely. I really do. The kid's going to be 18. Who knows if he even makes the team, okay? I mean, maybe they want to send him back playing against men of a lower level so he can touch the puck more and gain a bunch of confidence before coming to play NHL full-time. Or maybe... He's NHL ready right now. He's going to bust the door down in training camp and say, hey, put me on a line with Caulfield and Suzuki and let's go off to the races. And honestly, that's a very real possibility that that happens. Like, let's not rule that out because Uri Slavkovsky, if he comes in and he shows that he's NHL ready right out of camp on a rebuilding team with a coach in Martin Saint-Louis who loves offense, I would not be surprised if he says, kid, welcome to the NHL produce and if that's the case I would not be surprised if what a bunch of Habs fans are saying the Slavkovsky line which is Slavkovsky left wing Suzuki at center Cole Caulfield right wing and bang we've got a new number one kid line in Montreal I would not be surprised at all and if he's gonna win the Calder that's what's gonna need to happen I think he's gonna need to play with two really good offensive players and his stats his numbers are gonna have to skyrocket I think of Johnny Gaudreau okay I know he's Voldemort in Calgary right now but Johnny Gaudreau when he was a rookie in 2014-15 he came in the league and he was put on the line with Sean Monaghan, who at the time was probably the brightest looking future player in the Flames organization, and Yuri Hoodler. So it was Gaudreau, Monaghan, Hoodler, and all three of them, their stats exploded just by being on a line together. And I think the same type of thing could happen with Slavkovsky. I understand that Hoodler was a more of a veteran. Maybe he could help guide a guy like Gaudreau and like Monaghan, who are two young guys. I think Caulfield and Suzuki, they've been around the block. They know how this works. I think they're both poised for a breakout offensive season here. And why not let Slavkovsky ride shotgun for that? Here's where it gets difficult though. Okay, remember that really, really stacked rookie class that I mentioned? Uh, yeah, let me read some of the names that Slavkovsky is going to be competing with in order to snag that Calder Trophy. Mason McTavish, Captain Canada with the World Juniors who just lit it up. He is most likely, I would give it over 90% that the kid's going to make the Anaheim Ducks this year, barring an injury, knock on wood. But he is, to me, the favorite. And you've also got guys like Dylan Holloway in Edmonton, who is going to be a beast. Owen Power, hello, he's going to make the Buffalo Sabres. He is a first overall pick who has developed with another year in the NCAA and is probably ready to bust the door down. Matthew Beneers only played a few games for Seattle last year. He looked like honestly absolutely dynamite Shane Wright if he makes the team if he plays with Beniers if he plays with the guys like Eberly, who knows if he has a chip on his shoulder ready to go here that's only a few Ken Johnson the guy who scored the golden goal at the world juniors he is got a good chance to make the Columbus Blue Jackets does he get a crack with Johnny Gaudreau if things don't work with Patrick Laine okay Jake Sanderson in Ottawa Marco Rossi with the Minnesota Wild after his health scare he's come back with a vengeance Cole Perfetti in Winnipeg I'm overwhelming you with these names aren't I William Eklund in San Jose Alexander Holtz in New Jersey Uh, dude there's so many names here guys who (laughs) as rookies like this is so exciting to me because I genuinely believe come back to this video in March and you will see that this is going to be the most interesting fascinating entertaining Calder Trophy race maybe ever okay maybe since Ovechkin versus Crosby but as far as my prediction for the Calder Trophy it's Mason McTavish look I know I know what you're thinking ah come on maybe I'll give you a bit of a dark horse pick my dark horse pick would be Uri Slavkovsky if he does end up being a beast with that line of Caulfield Suzuki and Slav I do think they could 
dominate. And in that case, if we're talking about Slavkovsky, who's got 30 goals, okay, who's got 70 points, then we're having a different discussion. But Mason McTavish at the World Juniors, this kid just looked so NHL ready. He's already got an NHL goal under his belt and some games under his belt. I think him with Zegras up there in Anaheim, I think that's going to be a force to be reckoned with. I just, I see McTavish taking it. And if not, the second most popular pick, Owen Power. He looked so ready playing with the Buffalo Sabres. I think as a defenseman, a young one at that, he could really, really, really run away with that too. Those are my two picks. Dark Horse, it's Slaff. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. I want to hear it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.